Pro. Hello again and welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today we're going to do a Cubase power user tip and this was kindly donated, if you like, uh, by Charles Kellyman. So I'd like to thank you very much for talking me through this and showing me uh, this tip. Previous to this, uh, I didn't even know it existed, so thank you very much. So first of all, what we need to do is make sure the um, automation panel is available here. So if we right click, it's this automation mode. Make sure that's checked. If not, it's not visible. So right click, check on it, and there it is and that opens up the automation. So what we need to do now is open up the automation panel, go into settings, and in here uh, we need to make sure reveal parameter on right has a little checkbox in. So what we can do now is if we go to our VST instruments, which in this case I'm using Zebra, I've done a little bass pattern. Very simple. So let's open it up. Now when we play, Activate the right mode. If we wanted to manipulate the filter cutoff, so you can see there. Let's also do the decay. So there you go. Simple as that. So let's turn right off. So instantly what it's done there is created our automation uh, lane and assigned filter cutoff and assigned decay for the envelope. Uh, previous to this, you might have clicked here, gone into here, clicked more, gone into Zebra, looked at all these preset names which generally don't make any sense whatsoever and try and find the one uh, that you need. So obviously really quick, really powerful tool and a really great tip. So again, thanks to Charles Kellyman for that one. Uh, also in here, there are other settings which I haven't explained too much, uh, other than sort of uh, show data on tracks, which basically shows the MIDI information uh, which you're automating. For me, I mean, that instantly just clogs the screen up and looks um, too much for me, so it's probably not something I'd use. Um, this is also where you highlight your use virgin territory, which gets rid of all the unused parameters. Again, tidies up the display. I'll probably keep that on to be honest because uh, yeah, that's definitely something I'll use and that's a new feature within Cubase 8. Um, and again, not really sure what these are as of yet. Uh, reduction level 50% return time. Not quite sure, I'll look more into this. But uh, again, a quick little tip, really, really useful and thanks to Charles Kellyman. So until next time, bye bye. Hey.